sale for this car to be sold has happened in the last day. So I haven't kept this quiet for a while and it's not been a secret. It's happened very, very quickly. Hi guys and welcome back and welcome to a video which is, well, pretty sad because my Mercedes A45, my beloved A45 AMG is now sold. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. After owning this car for 18 months, a car which effectively started my YouTube channel is now going to be leaving me. It recently has been wrapped to blue. We all know this car has had so many wraps. It's had four wraps or something. Um, what are the wraps that we've done? We went matte blue, then we went orange. No, then we went camouflage and then we went orange and then we went to the blue that it is today. I will be explaining to you guys the reasons why this is now sold, etc., and what is happening in the future. I don't think it's really gonna sink in until this leaves me. This car will be leaving me in three to four days. What I'm gonna be doing first is that it really needs a clean, hence why it is in a wash bay. I'm gonna clean it down, and then we're gonna go for a drive, and then I'm going to tell you, obviously, the reasons why uh, this has been happening. But I keep looking at it, I'm like, please, no, don't leave me, don't leave me. Um, but it is gonna be leaving me. The last wash. This is very sad. How I'm going to miss her. Yeah, give her a quick wash down, and then we will drive it. So, I can't believe this. Oh, the hazard is gone off. One thing I will never forget with this is just how good it really looks. How good does that look when that car is sat here? The presence of it, the rear wing, and the rear diffuser, the A45 has to be one of the best looking everyday cars that is here today because obviously we got the blue the blue works well with everything but I did so much to this car see this car came with an aero kit so with that you get the rear wing and you also get the rear diffuser etc but what I added to it is I added aftermarket wheels and they're gonna be leaving me as well so they will go with the car and I also added these side skirts um, as well which makes the car basically look a lot lower than it is it served me so well but I keep looking at it I'm just like no! So this is my last drive in the A45 and a lot of people at home will probably be thinking this is actually sad because this car has been the car which has been on my channel for so long. I've driven it every single day pretty much obviously when the RS3 saloon came etc. I was driving that a lot and this went into the background a bit but then it came back then it had a blue wrap. I can't forget the camo. The camo that was a big part of it. Wrapping it camo and everyone hating it. Let's start it up. One last drive. Obviously, I will be talking to you about why I've made this decision. A decision I'll probably regret in a week. What we can't forget is how good this car sounds. <laughs> sounds amazing. Oh, boy. So, let's talk about why I have sold this car. Some of you would have seen I've been driving recently a TTRS and I made a couple of videos recently stating what should my next daily driver be. I drove an M2 and I drove a TTRS and there have been so many other cars that have been circling in my mind. I have driven other cars off camera recently as well and uh, that I do like a lot but in regards to this one I think I just got to the point where I'd had the car for so long and done quite a few miles in it and just driving every single day that I just felt a little bit out of love with it. And that's not me being inappreciative or unappre inappreciative? unappreciative. <laughs> Someone buying it will get all that enjoyment, what I had the first basically year of owning it. <laughs> I did so many trips in it. I took this car around Europe. Um, I did four different wraps on it. I tuned it. I put an exhaust on it. And I kind of got to the point of it as well. That what more can I do with it? Do you know what I mean? Like what more, what, what more is there that you can do? I'm not gonna rewrap it and I'm not gonna change my channel into a wrapping channel. Probably most people think it already is. There are a few different things that came into my mind when coming to this decision and someone offered me a price for it. And I just said at the time, you know what? I think it's time to go. If I didn't sell it now, would I sell it in two, three months? Yes, I would. So why not let it go now? It's still gonna be one of the best sounding dailies ever, surely. It really, really is. Whenever I say to anyone, 
when they ask me, should I buy an A45? I'm like, one million percent yes. You want an occasion, you want to get, you know, power out of such a small engine and everything, get an A45. You won't regret it. You've got five doors, you've got everything. So this deal for this car to be sold has happened in the last day. So I haven't kept this quiet for a while and it's not been a secret. It's happened very, very quickly. Never forget as well, all the drag races we did with it. We did, what drag races did we do? There's so many, we did A45 versus M4. We did A45 versus M3. We did A45 versus a stock A45. We did A45 versus TTRS. We did A45 versus Corvette. Grand Sport, the first supercar which I own, which is pretty much, well, it, which it nearly beat. And what I really love, sharing the content with you all, and I feel we've all been on a journey with this car. I really do. I feel from day one, we've all been on such a journey with it that I hope there will be people out there which don't miss it too much, but do miss it. I need a new challenge. I think I needed a new challenge in terms of going forwards. Obviously, I could keep driving this car. It's not down to a sort of a financial decision. This isn't a financial decision to sell this car before people will be thinking, maybe he's run out of money and that's that and his, his world is gonna end. The pops, the bangs, everything. I'm gonna miss this. I will miss this whole thing. So I'm now back and the A45 is all parked up. I'm gonna miss it so much. It's been an adventure and I will never forget the times that I had with this car and you guys as well. It's been so cool to have this so prominently on my channel. It's just gonna be very strange when it's not here. But what is not leaving me is the AH33 number plate because that's the number plate I personally own. So that will come off and the car's original plate will go on it before it gets to its new owner. It got quite loud outside so I've just jumped in the A45 to talk to you guys in a bit of peace and quiet. So the original number plate, like I mentioned, is coming off before the car goes to its new owner. But what I haven't explained to you guys, I've been explaining a lot of my reasons why I have sold this car, etc. But there's quite a big part I haven't told you just quite yet and you are going to find out now. Basically, what has happened is I've bought a new car. Can't quite believe it either. So the A45 is leaving me, but tomorrow you're gonna find out what my new car is.